Ensemble Grand Kitchen. We are an intergenerational project trying to pass on our heritage to our children. And today I'm making a Cameroonian dish called Poulet Deje or Chicken General Director to translate in English. And today I've got with me Aurora who has come to the Grand Kitchen so that she can learn to make Poulet Mm. I'm very excited to learn to make it. Poulet. Poulet. Deje. Deje. I've chosen to make poulet deje today because it reminds me of time when I was a teenager and I went home to, my, to spend holiday with my uncle in Douala, the city of Cameroon. My uncle used to always bring poulet deje at home on Friday night. And because he was always coming home late on with poulet deje, his wife decided that she was going to start making poulet deje at home to try and bring him home early. It was first made by a Cameroonian cook who was invited to cook for some French general directors. He was so excited when he thought about being invited to cook for the French that he thought, what am I going to make today for those general directors so he thought I need to make a selection of vegetable and chicken because there is something that they are quite familiar with so he turned he used chicken and a mixture of vegetable that it turned into a nice one pot dish the French were so impressed about it that they asked him how do you call that dish because what he said c'est le poulet de mon directeur général, meaning is the chicken of my general director. Then the dish became so popular that women started to make it in the male parlor, and that is how it just spread, and everybody started making poulet DJ, and it became a special dish in Cameroon. Poulet Deje, you need 500 grams of chicken, preferably chicken thigh means plantain, about six plantains, or if you prefer to use potatoes, you can use potatoes, preferably the Marabel or Maurice Piper, uh, and then you also need a selection of uh, vegetable, peppers, beans, and carrot and to season the DJ you will need celery onion garlic ginger white pepper so now I'm going to chop the chicken into small dices I'm just going to put the chicken into a, the pan I will add some onion to it. So I'm just going to add a bit of salt to it because this salt is quite big. I'd rather scrunch it to the chicken and add two maggi cubes, half of the pepper. the chicken and then I keep the other half a bit of celery just a tiny bit stir it and then let it cook slowly for about 20 minutes so once you're waiting for the chicken to cook we're going to peel the plantains and fry them chop them into small round pieces and fry them. So we just chop them into little dice uh, around. So do you want to try and cut it for me? Um, yeah. Go on then. I can show you how to do it. My God. Yeah. Well done. Good girl. Good. Very good. Finished it nicely there. And then you just put it in here for me, don't you? So now the oil is hot, 
we're going to put the rest of the plantain in. Show you. Cook it in a way that you can reverse it. Put enough space in the pan for it so that it's nice and bright like this. So this is how it should be when it's cooked. So now the chicken is cooked, we're going to drain it off the stalk and fry it slightly. What we can do, we can just start off with the rest of the pepper that I had. Remember we carved one of the pepper before, so we're just going to cut the other half. You get a bit of onion. True garlic. Grind a bit of ginger. Add some tomato. Finely cut the tomato. I've got some celery that I've already cut up. And then I've also got some carrot here. While Aurora is cut cutting those ones, I've got carrot and green beans that I've already cut up and that I'm going to just use to mix with the, the chicken ones. It's, uh, I'm going to fry the chickens. Reverse the chicken, let it brown. Now I start mixing my carrot, goes in first with some green beans. Then onions. Peppers, remember the ginger, garlic, tomato, and the celery. Give it a little stir. Let it cook for 10 minutes. So now the vegetables are cooked. I'm just going to add the chicken. the stock from before and then add the plantain give it a little stir let it all mix into one pot I'm going to just grind a bit of white pepper Add it to the chicken. This is this last stage where we mix it nicely. So now we're going to serve it. Like the green beans, good. <laughs> Just hold the plate. Oh. So we had great fun making the chicken DJ, and it's all cooked and ready for tea. That's our final product. Mm, more chicken aura. Beautiful. Good way to integrate your five a day. And we've had fantastic time making plate déjeuner 
at the grand at the ensemble grand kitchen today i hope you've enjoyed watching this video thank you very much and see you again next time